In this example, we are asked to compute, compute the flux of this vector field F across the ellipsoid, which is given to us here by this formula. So we are told to use the divergence theorem, but that, that's probably a good idea anyway. Let's start then by computing the divergence of this vector field. So the divergence of F, remember this is just del dotted with F, and that's just the sum of the first partial derivatives of the components, component-wise partial derivatives, of our vector field. So this is the x derivative of e to the xy plus the y derivative of z minus e to the y plus the z derivative of minus xy. And when we work this out, we see the x derivative here is e to the y plus the y derivative here is minus e to the y and the z derivative of this last component is zero. And so the divergence of this vector field is zero, right? So actually there's not much work to do. It doesn't even matter what the surface is, um, but our divergence of this vector field is zero. What we can then write down is that the flux, so the flux of this vector field F across the surface, which in this case happens to be the ellipsoid, but across the surface, this is just equal to, by the divergence theorem, the triple integral over the entire solid region, which is the interior, the solid ellipsoid, of the divergence of f, uh, dv. And since the divergence of f is zero, this is the triple integral of zero dv. And notice there, we really don't care what e is because this integral will just be zero. And so th the flux of this vector field across the surface given by this ellipsoid is just zero.